Hi, welcome back to physics lesson. Let's go to chapter four point four: magnetic forces or moving charges. Uh, we would use Fleming's left hand rule again for this chapter. Suppose there would be a charge, which is positively charged, move to the right hand side, and then it enter into magnetic field. Now you see here, cross. Okay, that means B field is into paper. Okay. When you moves into uh, uh, when you move to the region of magnetic field, we find magnetic force. So we uh, we have to find the direction of magnetic force and then uh, the size. Okay. Now for the direction, so we have to uh, rewrite something. Do you remember the relationship between the direction of movement of positive charge and the di and the direction of current? What is the relationship between them? Okay, the answer is the direction of moving charge is x is the same as the direction of current. Okay, we suppose positive charge move forward. That means the current move forward. Okay, so now you have direction of current, which is to the right hand side. As it is the same direction as the moving charge, okay. So you have I and B. So what is the direction of magnetic force? So it will be upward, right? By Fleming's left hand rule, F B I, I point to the right hand side, okay. Second finger point to the right, first finger into paper. So the force upward, right? 咁啊，留意下電流同電正子行嘅方向係同一方向嘅。OK， 所以有粒如果有粒正 charge 飛過去咧，向前飛咧，即係話個電流都係向向前咁嘅意思啦。OK， 咁 F B I 咁啊咧，有 I 有 B 咁啊有 F 啦。嗱 ，so we can find magnetic force on moving charge very easily by using the Fleming's left hand rule。嗱 ，maybe we consider another case。誒。Put a negative charge now. Okay, move to the right hand side, and the B field uh, suppose is again into paper. Okay, now with a with quartz, you you know is um into paper. So actually, we don't need to write down into paper. Okay, but now I write down to you into paper. So what is the magnetic force here? So here, current uh, is a negative charge. So the current will have opposite direction, right? So F B I, F B I, I point to the left, B in the paper. So the force will be downward. Okay. Now, so we can compare the two cases. One pointing upward, one downward. Okay. Now, uh, we have a description. We can have a description. We we'll say a uh, deflect. Okay, it deflect upward for the first case. Okay, for the charge, it deflect downward. Okay, now so the path will be this. Another. Okay, downward, downward force. It look like projectile motion, right? Okay, just look like, but not the same. And we have equation. Wow, first page we have equation. The force equal to BQE. Okay, F equal to BQE is the mag the magnitude of magnetic force added on it. Okay, now but uh, in case of uh, if the B field is not um perpendicular to uh to current, so we have to resolve components. Okay. Now here you see, uh, for example in this case, current is to the right, B field is into paper, so they are perpendicular. Okay, current to the left, B field into paper, so perpendicular to each other, right? But now for this case, B field, so we have to, we have to use a BY. For the calculation, BQV. Okay, 
Uh, so that's why we have a psi theta here. Don't need to memorize psi theta. You just have to resolve the component. Okay? The, we, uh, since you know uh, the angle may be changed. Okay, now try checkpoint 10 by yourself. Okay? Now, so in question 2, you can see um, we need to resolve uh, B field into components so that uh, so that uh, B field is perpendicular to current. Okay, so how can we resolve this? So we have to resolve B into BY. Okay, so now you can see um, current is perpendicular to B field. Okay, so you have to fill BY. Okay, so B side theta, right? Uh, so maybe you have a try for this and I will allow the answer very soon. Okay, you may pause the video now to try. Okay, time's up. So the answer one will be a D and we can have the magnetic force which is our paper by using Fleming self frame rule. Please tell me if you have any problem. Okay, and then we go to the second part. Wow, you see, it would uh, mix with um, this chapter would use the concept of circular motion. Okay, circular motion. So, if the B field, if the charge move in un under the influence of magnetic field, so we can find that yes, a circular path. Okay, do you know why? La, maybe we look at step by step. La, step one, the charge move upward. Okay, La, suppose it's a positive charge. Okay, move upward. So the current upward, right? La, B field is into paper. So you can find the force which is to the right hand and uh, to the left, okay? So you will move to position two. Position two here. Okay, again the force is to the left, right? But we have a right angle here. Okay, so actually this magnetic force provides Sang Chi petrol force. Okay, so it undergoes circular motion. Okay. So very easy actually for this chapter, but uh, we always see this in DSC. So it will be B, B Q V equal to M V square over R. Okay? The magnetic force provides energy petrol force. Okay, by using this equation we can calculate R. So R equal to uh, um, MV over BQ. Okay, now you need to know how to file the equation by yourself. This is very important. Okay, one star here, you see. And we have another very important um, concept you have to derive by yourself. Actually, two main points. This is first main point. Second main point would be. Like you, you know you will undergo a circular motion. So we want to find out the period. Okay. Do you know how? How to find the period in this case? You will move in a circle, right? In a circular motion. So the equation will be B Q V magnetic force provide centripetal force. Do you know how to find period? by using circular motion equation so you will be m r omega square right okay now so the derive is necessary okay now now m b q we go to r omega okay so we have b q equal to m omega and omega 2 pi over t okay so we have the final 
equation P would be equal to M 2 pi M over PQ okay like you can find the period and radius important these two equation okay if you find a DS equation in this chapter you must lead you you must prepare these two equation for them okay uh, again if the charge move parallel to B field that means current parallel to B field okay uh, this is what we have talked before in chapter 4.3 right so magnetic force will be zero Okay, so we can all we can find radius period. Okay, and we can also find work done. Do you find any work done on the movement? Okay, on the movement of the particle. Any work done? Any work done? We find force acting on the charge. Do you have any work done? What does work done mean? Work done means energy transfer. Okay? Now, please always, always remember that. Any, any energy transfer on the particle? If there will be energy transfer to particle, Ke or Pe will be increased. But in this case, no. Okay? Uh, this is a very important explanation for DAC question. Answer is no. Why not? Why no? Because um, the force is perpendicular to its moving direction. Okay. If for work done equal to F, work done equal to work done equal to F perpendicular to S. Uh, sorry. A parallel to S. Okay, if force is perpendicular to its displacement or moving direction, so it will be no work done. Okay, we remember that. Example A, not quite important here. Okay, uh, now we go to the second part. Now we have learned the moving charge in. The moving charge in uh, in electric field, but how uh, sorry in magnetic field, but how about in both electric and magnetic field? Okay, under two inference, you see, la, if a charge moving, okay, if it pass through parallel plate, here positive charge, here negative charge, so what do you predict about the movement? Oh, we know you will move, you will defect downward, right? Because of electric force. Okay, electric force, Fe. Now, you have learned this in chapter 1 of, of uh, textbook 4. Fe equal to Qe, and here E field is equal to Q, uh, V over D. Okay, now we, we have D here. And the plate um positive negative V where well, potential okay potential difference F E or Q E or Q V over D okay like you have learned this in chapter one one point two okay one point two so uh how about under both case and uh how about uh if the charge is moving under the influence of magnetic field and Yes, you feel. So here, uh, maybe you imagine the magnetic field is into paper. Into paper. Okay, use a quartz to represent. We have external magnetic field added on it into paper. So what happened to it? But so you, you now you can use Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, now chapter 4.3 Fleming's left hand rule. So the force will be. Upward, 
，OK， 電磁力 FBI 得唔得 ？OK， 嗱 ，so the force will moving upward， so there will be a magnetic force upward。Okay, now uh, in DST we have a question like this. Uh, the charge is moving in both electric and magnetic field, and uh, there will be no deflection. That means it pass straight through this region. Okay, 行直線喎。So no electric force. Uh, sorry, no net force. Okay, no net force. So combine. These two equations, we can conclude F E equal to F B. Magnetic force balanced by electric force, so it can move without deflection. Okay, so we have equation Q V B equal to Q V over D. So we can find the equation V equal to M. Uh, B V over D or just a uh, V of E B, okay? They are the same. So we can find uh, the solution for this case. This is a special case, but we always see this in DSE question. Okay, how about if I uh, move at a higher speed? Okay, now this is the speed show that low deflection for the particle. Uh, if higher speed, that means V, v is larger, okay? If V is larger, magnetic force will be larger. So it will deflect upward. Okay, however, how about if lower speed, or lower speed, magnetic force smaller than electric force, then you will deflect downward, okay? Now, so you, you can compare these two cases. But uh, we always need to think about cold shape without deflection. Okay, uh, so uh, this is the end of chapter 4.4. Uh, it, it will be short for us. Uh, now maybe you'll try checkpoint 11. And now you see, and the charge is moving under the influence of magnetic field, so it will move in a circle. Find the radius and sketch the path, okay? And the question two, um, find the um, Path of X and Y. Okay, uh, so answer here. Please try by yourself any problem. X divided downward, Y and uh, without deflection. Okay, so try to use the equation by yourself. BQE. Uh, chapter 4.4. 4. Um, you may try some question. Uh, try question 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, sorry. Almost all questions. Okay, 6. Okay, try these 5 questions. And uh, you can download the um, PDF of this chapter, or uh, you can uh, look at the back of the video. Okay, I put it. I put the, all the solution at the back of the video of this video. Okay, la. Um, la, So we have today. Uh, we have go through all four point one to four point four, four point one, uh, magnetic field. And also the magnet, 4.2 right hand grip rule for straight wire, right hand grip rule for solenoid, okay, and a B field equation due to long straight wire, 
We feel emotion due to so annoy. Okay, and then four point three, fair means left hand whoop. And then four point four, also fair means left hand whoop, but four point three is only for check wire. Four point four is only for moving charges. And for the revision exercise, I would suggest you have some practice. Uh, question six. Uh, seven. And all uh, uh, eleven. Now we have go through this question before, right? So now you may have a try for this. And also, um, DAC question. Okay, you must must try question. Okay, and also um. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I would suggest you to try uh, 22, 24, 26. It looks like DSC question, you know? Okay, uh, 30. Uh, don't worry, even double star. CE question. DAC question. Okay, uh, you see circular motion, right? And also magnetic force. Self test. Okay, don't forget. Try self test. Now here will be the answer of self test. Okay, after you have done the question, please look at the answer and ask any question if you meet any problem. Okay, and session B. Okay. The P, uh, you can download the, this uh, ebook. I would uh, save as PDF and share it to you. Okay. Now, so we go to the practice 4.4 solution. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Uh, and then question four. Question four. Question five. Okay, for the checking, you may pause the video for for check uh, for look at the solution. Okay, question six. And we measure this size. Okay, one two six. 7 to 11 Okay, 17 to 18 And then 19 19 20, 21 22 but I will suggest you can download the PDF okay for checking if the video is moving too fast okay and I find that um, some question is missing right some answer I'm missing. Um, well here, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Oh, oh, it's not missing. Okay, uh, DSC questions. Okay, uh, please 
tell me if you have any problem I can uh, answer you directly okay for the problem okay now, remember you can download this PDF and um, through the 